Hi, my name is Donna. And today I want to talk to you about my wellness journey that I shared with you in a previous video back in April. And a part of that conversation was creating an opportunity to travel as a part of um, helping with my mental health and just doing one of the thing, many things that I love, like traveling, camping, seeing the world. And I also talked about um, maybe doing some type of RV traveling. So what I did to make that happen as soon as possible uh, with my budget is creating my own mini camper van. And I used my 2006 Toyota Sienna van to convert into a no-bill camper van mini uh, van build. So, I know that's long, but I've done a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, and thanks to many yet mighty, I was able to come up with a van build that worked for me and my family so that I can easily convert it back without taking chairs out, my, my seats out the back. So I'd like to share that with you now. And some of my travels across country with my daughter, uh, one of our plans is has been to travel to, pardon the dog, has been to travel to um, all 50 states before she graduates from, um, before she graduates college. So um, I'd like to share that with you now and my fan bill as well as my travels. So come and join me. Okay, so 
Now, it converts. This is a table. I built this. Bear kind of helped me. I cut it, I sand it, I built this. I am very proud of it. It took me about three weeks. And you can still sit in the back, as you can see. But it's supposed to be a bench during the day. If I wanna get back. <laughs> I'm working on this part of it. But it just opens up here. See all this hardware I put in here? And then, this is a four inch memory foam mattress. You get in here. I gotta cut it down a little bit. But you get in here. And you can sleep. It's so comfortable. Yes. So I'm just getting to my campsite here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And I'm getting ready to set up um, for tonight. We did some sightseeing today and kind of hung out in the square in downtown Hot Springs and had dinner and dessert. But I'm here at a KOA campsite and it's very packed. I went to another campsite earlier and they were full in um, the National Park. So I'm just gonna get ready to set up here and kind of show you my little site here. I'm in a tent area. You can see how full it is up here. So I'm gonna get ready to, to set up and just relax. So here we are in drive mode here. Uh, I'm getting ready to set up for tonight. Um, I basically open this up and it flips over on here and I'll show you how it looks in just a moment. Um, here's my power station so that I can turn my fan on and charge my phone, laptops, um, things like that. And I'll share the rest with you later, but it's dark, so I will finish this up in the morning. And um, yeah, so let's. I thought this was so cute. Okay, here we are in bed mode, and I slept in here last night. It was extremely comfortable. Um, watched a movie. I had the curtains pulled here. I just close and clip with these. And I have the blackout shades here. Reflectix. These things are awesome. Here's one for this window. It's by WeatherTech and they stay in really well. And my power station here. And this is a mini power station and a light. It pops up. And my diffuser, you can see it's going. Um, I diffuse lavender oil to help keep the bugs away and I did open my windows here last night and it was nice and cool so 
It was about 70, maybe uh, 60s last night, 60, 68, 72 last night. And I have my essential oils here and my fairy lights are on there. My daughter got me these for Mother, Mother's Day this year. I like hummingbirds, so it's a hummingbird. These are hummingbirds. Got these fans here, kept it nice and cool. In fact, I had to turn them off because it got really cool last night. And this is just a little extra self shelf space here to put flat things on. Um, and all of my storage is back here, my blanket. Um, and here I have a packing cube with my sheet inside here. And this is a cargo net. It goes across here and hooks here. So I'll put that together and I put my packing cubes inside of there. And I put all my window covers underneath the mattress here once it's in drive mode. So we're gonna get ready to get going here. I don't know if you could see it, but I also have my salt lamp there to help with the ambiance. And um, supposedly the salt lamp lets off positive ions to help keep the air clean and kill germs in the air. Here I keep lavender oil to diffuse for the bugs and eucalyptus, eucalyptus oil. Sometimes I'll put that on my skin if it's a lot of bugs to kind of repel the bugs there. Got a little storage here where I keep items. Um, have some lights over here, my Lucy light. And then I have another light right back there. Um, and I also have my rain guards there by WeatherTech. Um, I had a hard time getting this one in because they, when they shipped it, it was, it was cracked. And I called them and this company is awesome. They sent me two out right away, express mail, and they came in about three days, but this is a really good company. Um, I am not sponsored by weather tech but um, they have really good products I started to make my reflectix so you can see they have the reflectix on one side and the blackout on other sides for privacy I kept it nice and cool in here last night um, and I ran the power station. This is a 500 watt power station here. I don't know if you can see the name, it's upside down there, but works really well. I'll talk a little bit more about this later in another video. But wanted to show you what's going on in my camper van, minivan. It's a 2006. It's very well loved. It's a Toyota Sienna and they have a long life if you take care of them and um, haven't had any problems out of it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm gonna Get ready to go, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.